Welcome back everybody, it is time for a quarterly update on Ragnarok Online. And oh boy, what a quarter it's been. I mean, <laughs> gravity is in the fucking dumpster, man. Let's start with the financials. It is a company they're supposed to be making money. Overall, not only from Ragnarok Online, but from their five or six different releases that they have going on. So, year to date, this stock has been down pretty much the entire year. I mean, let's see, up until March it was kind of holding and then it just, just, just went to the dumpster. It's down 42% year to date. The financials of this quarter are looking terrible. Terrible! <laughs> Minus 20% revenue, holy shit! Minus 23% net profit margin and almost half down on the operating income. What a fucking surprise, bro. Like, seriously, holy shit. What a surprise. See how it was before? Okay, they kind of bounced back from the shit March that they had. And then they had a shit as December 2021. So exactly a year ago. I mean, they only had like what profit margin of 1.3 percent. That was that. That is just. I'm not sure how are they still functioning, but oh my god, I'm surprised. I'm surprised the stock is this expensive. Honestly, I, I, I mean, if nothing changes for this, well, I was I was gonna say for this game, but for the company itself, with their games, with the way they handle their licenses. And with the with the way they're handling their uh, like other official servers of Ragnarok Online, I don't see much improvement long term. Ragnarok Online video in 2022 if we didn't take a straight up piss on the European server. I mean, I was secretly hoping like like a tiny little piece of me was like, oh maybe they updated the server a little bit. Well, maybe maybe it's good. Maybe you could come back and play. But no, of course not. I mean, we're only what? Rockridge, we're only about 10 years behind from the official server right now, so <laughs> oh, who knows, maybe in, like by the time we're all like 40 plus, maybe maybe, maybe we'll, get, we'll, we'll get the chance to actually experience the 4th jobs that are uh, current in the, in the official game. Maybe, who knows, if we wait another decade and it doesn't die, and we're, we're gonna go through like 6 other servers in the meantime in Europe because, you know, um, money printer goes with new releases the, the way we've seen Ragnarok online releases go is just crazy but still yeah so it's still shit there's still nothing to, exciting about it i mean nightmare pyramids and horror toy factory whoa what a freaking update holy fuck it's not like we've all done this shit thousands of times and thousands of times next uh what is it called the, the g enjoy i don't know what it's called the Asian server. Um, there was a patch note somewhere here, but they just got um, Phantasmagorica, so episode 15. So my fellow Asian players, uh, you guys are screwed as well. There's just nothing exciting. You guys get to do Varus again. Oh my god. I mean, there's really nothing much to much more to add besides this. There's just nothing going on. I wish there was more exciting stuff to report on, but... 50% XP was okay, cool, but who who wants to grind Verus again? I mean, it's a nice place, don't get me wrong, it's fantastic. Verus was one of the coolest places in the game, in my opinion, but I mean, it's kind of dated right now. Meanwhile, on Gravity Korea, or Ragnarok Korea, we have... What? I'm trying to find the update. Oh, it's not there. It's not there, but it was somewhere in here that they were just preparing for episode 20 soon. Oh, and more pretty cool events for the winter. Gacha boxes, not gacha boxes, all that cool stuff. They they care about their player base. They milk them. They milk them, of course, with costumes and whatnot. But you know, you don't want a costume you don't you don't you don't buy it. Like who cares? But it's still cool. It's a nice place to be playing Ragnarok if you're in Korea, but everyone else, we're still fucked. I mean, the last thing left to check is actually the forums of the European server, and 
where was the part with the cash shop? I mean, they always milk you to the last penny. Uh, blah, blah, blah. News and announcements, I suppose. Game updates? No, shop updates. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Treasure chrono set. Up to 30% off. Treasure refinement set. And that's just December, man. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9. You can count this one too. 9, 10. 10 updates in December regarding Just Cash Shop. Meanwhile, you're still... You know, you're still stuck playing uh, Nightmare Toy Factory, so if you got nothing to do in the game, just, you know, your wallet's not too far away, just just grab it and get yourself some dopamine, right? That, that That's what they're counting on. They bore you down with old-ass content just to, like, deprave you of dopamine, so you, you're gonna have to keep buying stuff, you know? I'm still pissed. I wish, uh, I wish the game was doing better. Ooh. Ooh. I need to translate this. I don't understand everything. But, uh... Wow, I mean... This is the same thing again. That's it's something I don't like about the Korean server, is that they keep fucking adding pretty much the same content every time. In, in a sense that it's the same thing. You grind some pieces, you exchange those pieces for an item, then you can enchant the item. Or whatever. And it's just the same thing since level 200. Like, it, every time. Every freaking update. Every new weapon. Glacial weapons. Before those uh, other glacial weapons. Uh, there's this other place with the guy from Old Glass Time. I forgot his name. You enchant that again. It, it has its negatives but at the same time it kind of brings a lot of stuff to the market so you can you can just buy this type of gear this type of gear this type of gear whatever you don't always have to be like geared up with the newest stuff right to do well but, i mean my my characters are going to be doing just fine and they're still balancing the game uh, i don't know if i can find the news and it's gonna be in korean anyway but what uh, gravity did for the korean server is that they initially released say these level 200 monsters level 250 update right and these monsters are pretty easy to kill so everyone just pretty much ended up botting unfortunately making a shit ton of zany so recently or like this year sometime this year they decided okay let's make them a little bit harder and they did they kind of overdid that but then they revised that a little bit and now they're back to kind of a okay level to really grind and play again so it's really nice that they keep doing this stuff you're not gonna see this on the on these servers like this shit over here yeah i mean it's enough for my rant um the company is in trouble big trouble i mean year to year is just shit just, i mean if anyone from gravity is gonna ever listen to this video if you guys want to hire me <laughs> as your business development manager or director I'm down for it, but we're gonna have to do a lot of changes, man. I mean, I've turned companies like this into very profitable ones, but um, <laughs> you gotta be open up. So hit me up if you wanna discuss things. I'm open. That's it, that's it. You guys, you guys take care. Like, it's still a great game overall. I just wish it wasn't run by a bunch of morons, I'm sorry. It's a bunch of morons with shit licensing contracts that's what it is